Hey, what is up guys? My name is Messwords and today I'm going to be showing you how to make an awesome thumbnail for your YouTube video just like I use for my videos on my channel. So I've already recorded this and made a template as you can see but it actually got corrupted in the video process so I'm going to be re redoing it hopefully this time even better. Uh, but before I do, in case you guys haven't seen my video where I got back banned and lost all my money about 1.6k in skins and made a brand new account which you can see here uh, which I'll go to my profile now. You see here, here's my new profile, and I see a lot of you guys, uh, every minute, you guys are going crazy. I just, I can't believe you guys, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for the support. And I didn't say anything about anybody donating or anything like that, but for all the people who have donated to me, um, I'm going to be shouting you out in my next video. Uh, well, not my next video, but I'm going to do an update video uh, called, uh, I'm not really sure what I'm going to call it. It's going to be an update on my back band situation of my new profile and everything I and mean, I'm gonna give a shout out to all these people so the first person on here is Lyra Lux shout out to you for donating a front side Misty and a Dragon King thank you so much you guys don't have to donate or anything like that but if you do I'm gonna definitely give you guys a shout out for doing something so kind anyways let's get straight into the video so if you wanna go uh, keep in mind you're gonna need Photoshop um, I'm using Photoshop CC 2017 um, this is a paid version however if you wanna get this for free there's tutorials out there I'm not gonna explain how to do that I don't wanna you know but anyways, uh, you want to go to File, New, and you can do 1920 by 1080, but I just recommend just doing 1280 by 720, um, just to make this easier. And what you want to do, I'm going to make this uh, really user friendly. So in case you guys are somewhat known to using Photoshop, then I'm going to be going very basic. So what you want to do right now is you want to go to the layers. These are your layers. Um, and basically where it says uh, the lock, you just want to double click, hit OK. That makes the background into a layer. Click this uh, little magnifying glass, right click on the background, click, uh, you can click fit the screen, but I just want to zoom out so I have a better view. Then you want to go up here, I always go to this, uh, I forget what this tool is called, uh, move tool. I always go to the move tool to basically restart or set back to what I want. You want to go to the big T over here on the left side where your tools are, and it's called the horizontal type tool, and this is basically the text tool. So as you can see, I'm just going to say, I'm going to call this how to make a... And we're gonna go ahead and uh, what you want to basically what you want to do is you want to hit Control T and that's gonna basically select the text. And you can, you're probably wondering why can't I see the text? Um, in case you have a text that's the same color as the background, obviously you're not gonna be able to see it. So what I did was I hit Control plus T, which selects the the thing. And normally what you can do is you can go like this, you know what I mean, make it smaller. But I really don't recommend this. I always recommend to make something smaller to downscale it. Hold shift. And while you're holding holding shift, you want to click this and then move this. Basically, no matter what you do, it's going to basically... Uh, I don't know how to word this. Uh, it's, gonna, it's going to uh, scale everything together, basically. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, so there we go. And I'm going to hit Control T again to select it. And I'm going to get rid of this background. And you can just click the delete key or right click it and click delete layer if there's a way. Um, I'm sure there is, but I just usually. Is I'd recommend going to Google Images. And this is the, I mean, you just use Google Images, type in CSGO. And basically what I do is for, at least for this tutorial, I already have a collection of images. But you can go to Google Images, type in CSGO, and we're going to find a simple screenshot. I, I prefer screenshots such as this one. And we're just going to drag this to our desktop, which I'm going to do now. You guys can't see this because it's on my other monitor. And after you have the uh, image selected, you just want to drag it into your uh, thing. And you just want to hit enter and it adds it there. Now, basically, the way the layers work is, um, I'm just going to rename this. You don't have to do this. But the way the layers work, whatever is over the, whatever is above is dominant over the other. So if I put this under the text, as you can see, it's under the text. That's just, that's just how it works. So basically, what I'm going to do now is go to the uh, text icon and I'm going to hit control A which selects everything and I'm going to change the tool or the text and here's some of my favorite fonts feel free to download them um, but I'm going to basically go to uh, let's see I can't remember which font I usually use for my latest thumbnails um, here's the one I use it is called Evagoria or whatever so that's what I'm going to use um, you can use this you don't have to use this uh, it's completely up to you um, we're going to go with the slant, the italic one, and I'm going to do the shift thing, like I said, 
and I'm gonna move this more to the middle and I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold, hit control plus J and that's basically gonna duplicate it and then do control T to select the whole thing and I'm just gonna move it under and I'm gonna just change this to thumbnail there we go and now I'm gonna do the same thing control T and then I'm gonna basically while holding shift do what I said before kind of scale it together and once I do this um, you see it's kind to kind of uh, aligned um, not the best I'm gonna spend forever on this but what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to go select the background go to filter go to blur go to Gaussian blur and you want to select the radius to 2.4 I, I recommend doing that but for this I'm just gonna do 1.5 actually or 1.6 is fine as well and what we're gonna do now is you want to go to the layers while holding control select the other layer this way you have both of them selected always remember if you make a mistake you can hit control Z to undo and go back so that's what you can do as well um, but what I would recommend doing is go and select right here select both of them go to duplicate layers hit OK right click again rasterize type then right click again click merge layers then while holding control click the little icon only click the icon don't click anywhere else just hold control and click the icon make sure your col color up here is selected to black go to select modify expand and I would recommend 20 um, and what you want to do is you want to hit while while having the selected hit alt and then delete this basically makes this little background and move this under it so that way it's dominant over the other now I'm going to select this tool. I always go to the rectangular marquee tool so then you can select and then click on the background to get rid of it. As you can see there is some mistakes right here like well not really mistakes but um, what I like to do is in case there's a little bit of a spot I just like to go ahead and fill it in. Now you, what you want to do is go to the background of the thumbnail or the background of the uh, duplicated text right click it go to blending options go to tool and I usually do inside but you can do outside as well so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna put this to 8 hit OK um, and after we do that as you can see we got a little thing going on here we could also do something like gradient overlay um, which makes it a little bit cleaner with a little bit of a drop shadow uh, that's what I like to do sometimes so that's what we're doing there and as you can see it looks a little bit cleaner and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm it's going to take way too long for me to explain how CCs work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take them from my um, other project and move them in here. So that way it's easier. As you can see, here's how I made my other thumbnail. I want to go to show you. This is how I made my other thumbnail. It's pretty, um, as you can see, it's really bad quality looking. But the way the YouTube uploads it, it makes it better. And it's kind of confusing how to how to explain it really. So we're going to go ahead and ignore this part. I'm just doing this to make this easier for myself. Is I'm going to select all these CCs, put them in here. Remember guys, um, I know I'm not showing you how to do this, how to make the CCs. So in return, you guys can download this whole template in the description. So I'm going to basically change this. As you can see. And this literally like makes it 10 times better. Um, and now the next thing what we're going to do is I'd recommend going to Google Images and typing... Uh, fire transparent and I like to use some fire and stuff like that um, I would suggest spending quite a bit of time to find something good um, for this tutorial I'm gonna go with something a little bit easier and I already have one to I already have a really good one which I'll provide in the uh, download link below and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this here we go as you can see and what I'm gonna do is hit control T and remember like I said 10 times uh, this is in, this is in the description so you can feel free to download this and I just like to put a little bit of fire effect you can also go to Google images like I was saying and find one um, that way you don't have to use what I provided so I'm just gonna get this a, this a little bit too much so let's just kind of make it kind of just make it yeah yeah and we'll turn that bit it down a bit there you go and now what I would recommend doing I'm sure most of you guys are watching this tutorial are fans of my channel, which are CSGO related, which is why I'm going to show you how to make more of a CSGO related thumbnail, as you can see, hence by the background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go again to Google Images, and we're going to type in CSGO Knife Transparent, or you can do green screen. I would recommend transparent. So here's a list of screenshots I have. Um, these are my own screenshots. So I'm going to find one of the best that fits this. What I could recommend doing is going to google images and typing in a green screen or uh whatever you want to call it 
And in case you have one that's a green screen, what you can do is go to uh, back tool to the eraser, go to magic eraser, and then do that with the background. Um, and then as you can see, I'm getting rid of all the green. And what we're going to do next is pretty important. So whenever you do get your image from uh, whatever it might be, like let's just say it's from... Uh, let's let's say let's find something easier actually. Let's just say the background or the the, the image you find on CS:GO, like I said, has a green screen and it's it's really poor quality. So what I'm going to show you next is how you can improve it. So first off, let me move these and I like to organize everything. So I'm going to make a folder with the text. Call this text, and then let's name. Let's make a folder called background and we'll put this under the text oh put this under the text put the background in the background there we go and then what I'm gonna do now is uh, we're gonna take the AK or whatever image you found on Google or the one if you want to use the one in this uh, in this video you can go to make sure you have it selected go to filter and you want to go to camera raw filter and this is one of my favorite effects to use and what I like to do is change the temperature a bit uh, mess around with it a little bit Go to exposure, turn that up quite a bit, and you want to change clarity uh, all the way up. Change vibrance, turn that up too, hit OK, and as you can see, it kind of changes the quality of it. And I'm going to go again to camera off filter, change the temperature, uh, more bluish actually, turn the exposure up just a little bit, contrast up a lot, and clarity, we're going to turn down a little bit. So there you guys can see. It's kind of like, uh, it gives that little visual effect to make it kind of better, if you know what I mean. And um, what we're going to do now is take the text, put this right here, and there you go. There's a pretty easy uh, thumbnail in case you want to add like a little part of the background. Um, you can go to the background. Uh, let me just make sure. Okay, so you, what I would do is right click the background, go to blending options, go to stroke, and go to inside. And change this to uh, you can do color or you can do gradient. Let's just do the rainbow one because that's so commonly used. And as you can see, there's a little rainbow thing. Um, we can change it to whatever we want, but I'm not going to use that in this video. But there you guys go. That's pretty much simple. Remember, you can download this in the, the description of the video. If you guys did help, if this did help you, uh, these are a bunch of my secrets on how to make a very. So I just added a reflection. I really like this. This is a very nice little touch. I'm putting this at the front and I'm going to basically just put this right there. Kind of gives it that nice little shine to it if you guys understand, if you guys know what I mean. Um, there you guys go and that's basically going to make it a little bit nicer. Uh, you can turn this down a bit or turn it up, up to you guys. I'd recommend not making it bigger than 32 because that's like the kind of the minimum for it. Uh, maybe just I would recommend putting it on the text. I'm probably going to do this actually. Uh, reflection and make it a clip art great clipping mask actually let's put this right here well there you guys go link is in the description if you guys want to download oh and let me show you how to render it so if you go to file export save for web you can select it make sure it's J jpeg or png and make sure it's 1280 by 720 and then you can save it and render and blah 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 there you guys go thank you so much for watching if this did help you be sure to leave a like and a comment if you guys did enjoy this thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys later